Have you ever thought to yourself, hmm, could I put together a dinner party in just one hour? Well, there is someone here who thinks she can do it, and she's done it. Claire Tanzi from Chatelaine Magazine is going to show us how to put together the ultimate dinner party yeah. in just an hour. Okay, and if I'm reading this right, we're going to make a mint julep, fried green tomato salad. Yeah. There's going to be sexy Creole scallops. Yeah, and, and there's going to be a dessert. Yeah. Berry bliss pudding. Yeah. And you're going to do it in an hour. In an hour. How are you doing this? Well, so this is a, a, it's a, a concept that we really love at Chatelaine because you know you want to entertain. Yeah. And yet, how do you do it when you don't have time? Say it's Friday night and you just got home from work. So we, we create these recipes and these menus that you can do in an hour, we truly do it in an hour. And Just the way an we hour. test it is we give the recipes to somebody who's never done it before. Okay. They set the timer at the, as the minute that they walk into the kitchen. Yes. And they are done by 60 minutes later. You guys should have made me test it. Okay, we will next I'm time. I'm like the worst person in the kitchen ever. <laughs> if I could do it in an hour, everyone can do it. Like my two-year-old yes. can do it in an hour. I'm telling you, and the other thing is that actually in the pages of the magazine, we give you a prep plan. So 6 right. o'clock, you're doing this. 6.05, you're doing this. 6.20, oh, you're doing this. That's great. So let's call it 6.05, and you're going to make us a cocktail. Okay. Because that's a really good thing to get I like, started I like with. things at your house. So you're just going to make a lovely mint julep. The okay. whole menu here has a beautiful southern summery feel to it. Very nice. So a mint julep is just sugar and mint and bourbon. Oh, that's sounds I know. See, so if you could just combine the mint and the sugar in this little pitcher and give it a whack sure. with that right. uh, wooden the spoon. Sugar? Yes, please. And this um, goes into every glass. All that sugar? No, that's this is you're making the whole pitcher for everybody because okay, not right, everybody's right. going to drink this much bourbon. Okay, no. If they are, it's going to be much longer than an hour-long dinner party. You haven't been to a much. party at my house, <laughs> honey. <laughs> and okay. we, of course, we always say you get your cocktail started first and then put it in the fridge what because are we doing then here? if somebody just just, just kind of, you want to oh you put some ice in there that's fine too. Um, but what you want to I did it the, wrong already. It's all right. Look at how wrong this looks right now. You want to mash the sugar with the mint together. Oh, so you're trying to get the minty flavor out okay. of the mint and into the sugar. I can still do Look, it. You'll use those it, beautiful yeah. arms that you have. <laughs> and while you get started on that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get started on the main course. So we have a first course, which is a fried green tomato salad with a fresh tomato. Very okay. easy. You just bread it and fry it and toss it in the salad. And then this is sexy Creole scallops. Oh, that looks so I know, right? And the flavors of Creole are like green pepper and thyme and bay and parsley. And one of my favorite ingredients, do not put this in your gym bag, clam juice. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This is not. It smells <laughs> very nice, I can imagine. So you start by making this little sauce, a little bit of butter and flour, and then you put in the clam, the clam juice. juice. And this, you just get it at the grocery store. It's not expensive. It's not fancy. But instead of having to make something like fish stock, Mm. which takes you, you know, kind of all afternoon on a weekend. Right. Um, you just make the clam juice. Okay, you just well use the clam good. juice. I see. I like the easy cheats. That's exactly. Great. That's going to save you a lot of time. And that's it. And that's what you have to think of when you're making dinner in an hour. And when yeah. we say a one hour dinner party, it's not as if the guests come and only stay one hour. No. That's a very boring dinner that's party. That's a terrible that's, party. Yeah. I had a party like that. I had to say, good night, everybody. I have to go to bed now. And they all stayed on my patio. Oh, did they? That was just two days ago. <laughs> You were tired. I was tired. That happens sometimes. Exactly. People, don't, people ever want to leave my house, and that's okay. Well, you know, that that's they're nice. having fun. How are you doing with that cocktail? Oh, good. Good. Yes. Good. Good. I, I was, was working good. very hard yeah. on it over here. And once you have the cocktail in the fridge, that way, if yeah. one of your unfortunate guests turns up ten minutes early, yes. which is a no-no, people, don't um, come early. At least you have I'd something to you give them. Late. But you have something to give them, right? Like you, you can give them a cocktail, and you can put them in a corner and say, in dump it in there, and then add the bourbon. Oh, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And then my cocktail's done? Then your cocktail is done. Well, that's an easy You drink. see, that was easy. Yeah, very and easy. And so over here, I'm just making this little sauce. I've got some onion and some celery. I've got some green pepper. And then one of the interesting keys here, this is a fun way to use tomato. We're going to add tomato to this sauce. Okay. But instead of just chopping it or using canned tomatoes, you grate the tomato. So you get a fresh tomato taste. Okay. And you grate it over a sieve so that you can get... Um, you can get the pulp out. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. We're doing all this one hour in five minutes That's here. That's right. No time to chat. No, and there's certainly... got to get to work. So you get this lovely tomato pulp here. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Wear an apron. It's Stir fine. that for That's me, okay. would you please? Okay, there's the green pepper. I forgot the garlic. That's okay. That's all right. The garlic is in there now. Yada, yada, yada. The sauce is done. Man, this smells so, really good. So, meanwhile, I'm going to ask you to move over. Okay. And then you just want to cook your scallops. Okay, so let's put this over here. So this is a technique that I like to show because scallops are an absolutely wonderful seafood. 
They're, they're sort of like the beef tenderloin of the fish world. They're easy to no make bones, too, though. No bones, no skin, I like no, exactly. Them. And they're yeah. super fast. Okay. So you want to get these big, beautiful ones. Beautiful. And, uh, and you just sear them. And the thing with scallops is the same with shrimp. Less is more in terms of cook time. Right. So you don't like you don't want to cook them for I'm ten minutes. This over here. You just get rid of that. That's fine. Okay. So just while we're waiting for the pan to heat up, I'm going to quickly talk you through the dessert because okay. everything is the quick. Best part. Now, are you doing everything in order when you're putting together this party? Uh, I am not doing it in order right now, yeah. and I would recommend you follow our prep plan. Okay. So you start by making the cocktail, yes. and then I think the prep plan says you start the dessert, then you make the dressing for the salad. So you know, you just follow that plan. You can just keep the magazine open there on the cooktop. And you're good. And, and because we've put the effort in to figure out that plan. So if you start the main course and you haven't done the dessert, but the dessert actually needs to sit for 30 minutes, you know, I'm making it sound a bit more complicated than it is. Follow the prep follow plan. Follow the plan. It's actually it very easy. easy. Okay, so, so our dessert this looks This beautiful scrumptious. dessert. It's a, called a blueberry summer pudding. We're calling okay. it a berry bliss pudding. Nice. This is actually, it's bread. This ah. is white bread. Instead of making pastry or scones or yeah. blah, 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 you just use bread out of the package. Soak it in blueberry juice, make Any a little stewed blueberry. There? Really, really um, trashy white bread. Oh, the trashiest yeah, white bread I know. you can find. I know. So good. And put the rest of the loaf in the freezer and forget about it. OK. And you just let it soak with all the blueberries and then serve it with honey flavored Greek yogurt. Oh, that's easy. Delicious and that's so, really so simple. OK. So I'll just get show you how to do these scallops because they are so, so yummy. We'll pretend fry them because for some reason this isn't on again. OK, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. Whoops, was I supposed to be watching that? Oh, you know, it doesn't matter. But oh, well. When you when you finally when you do come to have the scallops done, you have um, you've already put some rice on. And do you um, use a particular kind of rice? This like is that, that a blend of wild and white. Do you yeah. know that it's good. Yeah. I, th I like it because it's pretty. Um, and all, but you don't have to like you know you use just use, use what whatever you rice you kind of have. And the other thing is wild rice is kind of has a little bit of a sexy flavor. Yes, yes. because they're sexy scallops. Exactly. Everyone. And so once you get your um, scallops cooked and you have your sauce, I have some sauce which is cooked here as well. And then the sauce already has the vegetables in it right so that's why you don't have to do like a side dish or anything like that it's all in one okay and you can just plate this lovely sauce oh it smells so good now in the prep plans are you so you're actually plating this as your guests are coming in right yes. you're so, not so everything's warm, everything's been timed, they're having their cocktails, exactly. if it's my house, they've had a whole pitcher each. Well, and in that way... So no one really cares about the dinner anymore. <laughs> and that's when you, you can, can just sort of decide anything. what you want. That's right. You, yes. Maybe you're going to have the cocktails and you're going to sit for an hour on the patio. Right. You know, and then you're going to then you're going to go in and finish off your scallops and finish your Very main course. Very nice. Up to you. I, I do like to sit and have a nice, relaxing conversation with my guests. Totally. But if I know I have to make something, it's kind of always in the back of always, my mind. Which right? is why people avoid having people over for dinner. Exactly. Exactly. And you shouldn't. You shouldn't make that stop you from doing it. So Absolutely we've got the not. final picture right there. Yes. So you can see the beautiful you scallops. You see how beautifully seared they get when yeah, you get that's the pan gorgeous. nice and hot. You got your salad. You've got yep. your dessert. You've got your cocktail. Look at this. Good stuff. Well I didn't make made. that one, but whatever. It looks yes. better. Give yes. her a big hand. We're putting it all on our website. Okay? Thank you for that.